Hi, this is Joe with Power Up Social Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you, can, how you can use the Google Keyword Tool to find some awesome domain names. This trick is amazing. It's completely changed the way that we find our domain names. And as always, I encourage you to follow along in the browser beside the video here. First thing you're going to do is open up your favorite web browser and you're going to do a search for the Google Keyword Tool. It should come up first there. Go ahead and click on that link. Then it will take you to the Google Keyword Tool. What you're going to, have, what you're going to do is put in your keywords for the domain name that you will potentially be looking for. And it can be fairly general because the Google Keyword Tool will give you a bunch of suggestions and you can just use those. So what I'm doing for this particular thing is I'm looking for some campaigns that I can launch to, to sellers in the Seattle area. So I'm looking to buy houses in the Seattle area. I want sellers to find me. So I'm going to search for sell my Seattle home. And then I'm going to click search there to get the results. And these are what the results will look like just a whole list of things and next I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I click exact and unclick broad because I want to see what the exact searches are and then I'm gonna make sure that I have the global monthly searches selected let me go back a slide really quickly there so with the exact monthly searches what I'm looking for is to see exactly what people are searching for with these keywords so you can see like help help you sell how to sell your house are the top two there but then for the for the domain names that we're gonna look for we're gonna actually switch it back to broad and click on global monthly searches to make sure it's sorted that way the reason we're switching it back to broad is just to get rid of the brackets that are around around the keywords there then you're going to go ahead and click on the download button and then select all. Next, just download the CSV file for Excel. And then open up that file in Excel. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a column. Then after that column is added, you're going to put in .com and you're going to drag the bottom right corner of that initial .com all the way down to the bottom of your domain name searches. So it should be about a hundred domain names that you have on that list. So you drag all the way down to the bottom there and you'll see that it will fill in the .coms for you. Then what you're going to do is you're going to copy all of those .coms excuse me, you're going to copy 50 of those dot coms and you're going to go to the site namespro.ca once you're there click on register a domain name on the left there then click on the multiple domain names tab from there all you have to do is copy those domains, the first 50 domains from your Excel file into the box here and click search. What you'll get next is a list of what is available as far as domain names of those top searches. Do you guys realize how powerful this is? This is freaking amazing. So now you just have to go through and you check out the domains that are available and then what I would recommend is using a, a tool that we love that gives you a discount and has just great applications. Bustaname.com. So you go to Bustaname and you just copy your domain name in there and it will give you a quick check for that domain name to make double check that's available and you can buy it through you can buy it through them which takes you to GoDaddy and gives you a few bucks off your domain name. So I hope you guys realize how powerful this is. You can just go through any of these search terms check out what domain names are available and if you can instantly drop yourself into some searches that are getting hundreds to even thousands of organic searches a month it's a really amazing tool I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to shoot them over
This is Joe with Power of Social Media, and I'll see you on the next video.